Okay. Last time. This is a jazz bass. And this is a precision bass. Jazz bass, precision bass. Hey, everybody. Just kidding. Um, it's the Max Proud channel. It's out of my favorite music store, just hanging out. And um, I had a question from uh, one of my uh, listeners about the uh, difference between the jazz bass and the precision bass. See me here. Come check me out. Authentic. Ah, here we go. An authentic. Find the jazz bass. Find the tech technical difficulties here. Okay, now. Things started off with a P bass, but here's here's the jazz bass. Um, basically, it was uh, designed as a uh, bass with a little different sound, a little more trebly type of sound, more baritone, I guess you'd say. And it featured a neck that is kind of thin at the top here. Uh, that was for if uh, basically if a, a guitarist wanted to jump on bass and or double on bass, they had that thinner neck right here. That uh, it's thicker on the P bass. Uh, this is supposed to be uh, instrumental and uh, uh, being able to play it quite easier, or you know, uh, play it with barely a warm up. You just you know went in and just go at it. And, uh, here again is that curvy jazz bass uh, body style. Uh, uh, nice. It doesn't sound like a jazz bass, man. It has a lot of uh, attitude, a lot of definition. I'm going to put standard jazz bass back up here. And I'm going to go here with Old Fateful. And that is the P bass. Fender Precision Bass, as you can see. Style is a little less radical. Uh, this uh, neck at the top is a, uh, oh, can I say, half a centimeter thicker, maybe more. Up there. Uh, the P bass was uh, invented. Uh, now, 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 now the uh, Fender uh, Precision Bass was not the first electric bass. That's a uh, title that's given to somebody else. But this is the uh, first electric bass that was put into this type of uh, production that was produced on this level, big level, for to, to sell. And it took us time taking off, but after a while, people got into the bass, uh, mostly because... It's kind of hard looking around that big bass viol, you know, from place to place. And the sound quality, man, you know, no matter how you mic'd it back then, you know, didn't really give off a real loud, defined sound. That's why you hear all those old uh, big band records here. You know, instead of actually bass notes, you hear, well, I mean, the, the, you couldn't make out the notes, but not really. So, uh, this uh, dimension of the precision bass really defined bass playing and uh, ate up a lot of space on, on the recordings. Um, you know, this P bass. Two pots in there. You got an input on jazz bass. You got three, three controls on your input. Standard four. At one time, uh, the electric basses, that's all they were, four string. Of course, they got five, six, eighteen. <laughs> yeah. And uh, that's the basic difference um, in the P bass and the jazz bass. Uh, if you look down here, these are uh, two standard P bass pickups. On the right and the left covering two strings at a time. On the jazz bass, you have those two long bar pickups that uh, cover all the strings, giving off a distinctive sound. 
And as far as sounds go, I really don't have time to uh, plug them up. Maybe in another video, I'll try to plug them up. And uh, you just take my word for it right now. The P bass usually has the the deeper bass sound, you know, standard bass sound, uh, good for uh, you know rock and roll, jazz, early '50s rock and roll, jazz. You know. The P bass came out in 1951, by the way, and uh, became a staple of the music industry. So, yeah, the P bass is that deep sound that uh, you heard on records back then, almost extensively. And then came along the jazz bass, a little more attitude, a little more bite, a little more uh, bare tone type of sound, kind of stinging, lighter sound. Uh, that uh, define the notes a little better. So, um, you know, uh, probably uh, best in your arsenal would be both of these bases, you know, because they both have a different vibe and they both cover a lot of music. We would probably use the Fender Precision Bass, a little more suitable for rock and roll and, you know, country and some jazz. And, uh, The uh, jazz bass is uh, also good for all those genres, but a little more progressive and more, uh, certainly uh, heard a lot more solo bass on the jazz uh, more than the uh, precision. So, you know. Anyway, this is Roland on the Max Proud channel. I thought I'd just go through a little something something here on my favorite music store. They give me standard Fender Precision Bass and the Fender Jazz Bass. Never been anything like these basses. Probably never will be anything like them. You have a lot of independent companies out there trying to further push the envelope on bass and almost all of them have a P bass and a Jazz Bass facsimile. Almost all of them they got their name on them, but that that recognizable body style. It's all Fender. Don't get it twisted. Fenders are the first. The jazz bass and the precision bass. Irreplaceable. All right, everybody. This is Earl on the Max Prop Channel.